Hello my dear followers. Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to be informed about new videos. They plan how to harm Savahir Baron. Dylan starts to be afraid of birth. When Dylan's pains increase, the Baron asks them to inform the doctor immediately. Baron is relieved when the doctor checks Dylan and says there is nothing to worry about. The doctor tells you to relax, we will take you into labor in a short time. Dylan and Baron experience excitement, fear, and joy at the same time. Harun and Yasmin look for a dress for Yasmin together and Harun makes small gestures saying whatever she wears would look good on Yasmin. Burke, on the other hand, listens to them from a distance and tries to prevent their conversation, but they cannot. When Dylan thinks of Baron while he is in pain and asks them to make toast for you, Baron says, even in this state, you are thinking of me. While Dylan says, you are very important and precious to me, Dylan suddenly feels a pain. When Baron gets angry asking them to take him away for the birth as soon as possible, Dylan says that it is normal, like the thorns of a rose, but I will bear it for my son. Meanwhile, when the pain came again, Dylan got angry at Baron and chased him, saying, don't panic, don't turn around, get out of my head. When Baron goes out, Ghoul comes to him and tells him that Baron is very excited and panicked. Dylan says let him stay outside, the longer I stay here, the more panic I get. When Baron talks about the mood swings of Fireit and Akif and Dylan outside, Akif says, it's true, my wife is going into labor, I just can't get enough of it. When Ghoul Dylan is in pain again, she asks, what happened, what should I do, what do you want, and Dylan asks for Baron. As Baron enters, he notices Akif Ser and goes after him. When Dylan Baron comes to him, he says I'm sorry for kicking you out of the room. Baron says it doesn't matter and says he understands him. Then, when the nurse comes and asks for the baby's belongings, Baron takes them out of the bag and gives them to them. Baron and Dylan's excitement increases when the nurse says we will come and prepare the mother soon and leaves the room. While Baron is loving Dylan because he is almost there, Dylan says he wants to talk to my mother. Baron gives his phone and calls Dylan Sabiha. Severi and Sebdet come to the restaurant. Harun calls Sebdet to make calculations. While the poet runs away from the hospital without looking back, Akif chases him. Eventually, he loses track somewhere. Sevahir watches them from a distance. It is already a fault for someone who gets angry at Sevahir Ser and trusts you, but this is not over, Baron Karabai, and gets angry. Since Mr. Kudret and Ms. Aze did not go to the hospital, they became curious in the mansion. When Mr. Kudret becomes curious about Ms. Azaid, he calls Fireit and learns that Dylan has not been given birth yet. Then they want to get ready and go to the hospital. Fireit calls Sevdet and informs him that Dylan's birth has started. Sevdet is shocked when he hears this news. They immediately entrust Severi and the baby to Yasmin and Harun and leave the restaurant. While Yasmin and Harun are loving the baby, Burke watches them from afar. Dylan talks to Ms. Sabiha and informs her about the birth and says, I don't want you to come, don't worry, the three of us will come to see you. Baron also talks to Chihan and tells him, don't worry, I will send you a picture as soon as the lion piece is born. Dylan says to Baron, I prepared something for you, I know you will be very scared when I give birth, as if I were with you. Baron says I am grateful to you, and I am grateful to you and my son for making me a father. Dylan says, don't worry, we will come right away, and kisses Baron. Then the doctor and the nurse come and tell Baron, let's take you out, we will prepare Ms. Dylan for birth. Baron goes out feeling uneasy and anxious. When baby Dylan starts crying, Yasmin is confused about what to do. While Burke comes and says let's turn on rock music, Harun comes and sings the lullaby that will make Dylan silent and baby Dylan becomes silent. Mr. Sebdutler and Kudret come to the hospital with the barons and learn that the birth has not been done yet. Just then, Dilshan is taken out of the room for birth. Ms. Azade says, you are our precious person, don't forget this, may God save you at once. 
Sevdet and Severi also send their good wishes to Dylan. Dylan gets very emotional and cries with excitement. When Hassan is left alone, he enters Baron's study and says, This is your decision, my dear nephew, Baron Karabai. He sits down in his chair and says, We have reached the end of the time allotted to you. He takes his name tag from the table and throws it in the trash. Gizem is very surprised to see Hassan in the room like that. Hassan rebuffs her and says, What are you looking at, leave my coffee behind and close the door. Harun makes a list of missing ingredients and gives it to Burke and asks him to come get it. While Burke tries to put the money in his wallet, Yasmin's picture falls out of his wallet. Harun picks up the picture and looks at Burke's face harshly. Baron goes with Dylan to the door of the maternity hospital. Dylan says we will come with our son, don't forget to listen to our song, I love you very much. Baron says I love you too, okay, I won't forget, I will wait here. Baron forcibly releases Dylan's hand and his eyes fill with tears. And our couple's famous song Olam Ben plays. Dylan experiences a lot of pain while giving birth. The song that Baron Dylan wants to listen to is me. Baron mumbles while listening and cannot control his tears any longer. After a difficult birth, Dylan starts crying with joy when she sees her baby. Baron gets impatient outside and waits for them to come out. Then he starts wondering why it took so long, is there something wrong? Everyone says things to calm him down. You can share your valuable opinions in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more videos. See you in the next video. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.